Welcome to the After Council Roundup for the January 19th Council meeting. I was pleased to provide Council with an update on the Municipal Provincial Housing Summit held January the 19th with mayors from across the province along with Premier Doug Ford and Housing Minister Steve Clark. We looked at ways to work together to provide more housing in our communities. I also reported on a meeting I hosted with Michael Tibolo, Ontario's Associate Minister of Mental Health and Addictions, and some of our community partners looking at ways to address homelessness. We put a proposal on the table seeking a joint housing, mental health and addictions funding envelope of $5 million. This would fund wraparound supports that not only directly benefit homeless people dealing with mental health and addiction issues, but takes pressures off of our hospitals and police by breaking that cycle that seems to be endless in terms of crisis after crisis after crisis for these individuals. So important work is being done and I'm hopeful that progress will result soon. Next, the council approved our draft municipal comprehensive review, clearing the way for public consultations before submitting it to the province for approval. Municipalities review their official plans on a regular basis to ensure they remain up to date, reflect the current provincial policy, and represent the long-term vision of the municipality. A draft review approved by council confirms the current urban boundary as it now exists. In other words, no expansion of the current urban boundary. The effect of this would be to cause future development to be directed within the current boundary rather than seeing it sprawl into farmland. The next step is for the Municipal Comprehensive Review Public Consultation and Statutory Public Meeting in May, with the final document going to the provincial government by July the 1st. Council approved a motion concerning Quebec's Bill 21, which prohibits public employees such as police officers and teachers from wearing religious symbols, including head and face coverings, when carrying out their duties. In December, a grade three teacher in Quebec was reassigned from teaching duties because she wore a hijab as a result of this law. Council voted to endorse the effort by Ontario's big city mayors asking the Parliament of Canada, including both government and opposition, to support the challenge of Bill 21 at the Supreme Court. The city's policy of charging a $100 fee to file a complaint with the Integrity Commissioner is under review. In practice, the fee is often refunded, but there was a concern expressed that paying the fee upfront was an undue hardship for some. The fee has been referred to the Governance Review Subcommittee for more discussion. That's it for now for this edition of the Actor Council Roundup. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.